Alright everyone, and welcome back. It's been a while, been a few months, a lot of videos posted. Uh, but you know, we're back on the Cloudpunk. Do we need anything here? No, there is a man to talk to though. No way, I think I know who that is. I think I remember him. So nothing much guys. It is a Sunday 1207. I am home alone. I have nothing else better to do. So we are at the Cloud Punk. So I don't really have anything specific on the agenda, maybe just some story, or maybe I'm just going to do some random bullshit, because, you know, been a while, I uploaded a lot of CS and Siege videos, and so I feel like I need a break from that type of, I guess, vibe, and in that return I've also been playing a little bit of, or I shouldn't say a little bit, but a lot of Eternal Return. Uh, if you don't know what a turn roll turn is, top-down MOBA Battle Royale Survival. It's pretty fun, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, but I just haven't been recording the exact stuff for that either. So... I need to find where are some items I can go scavenge. We can go to Avalon Heights. Hello. Map. Hope's through in Avalon Heights. We're just gonna go scavenge through those areas real quick, okay? As for update on sound references and our like audio capability, I will try to improve it. I know there's probably like, there's always like a fan or something blowing if you're like listening carefully enough. I just need some sound squares. I, I've just been a lazy fuck, haven't committed to it, and or haven't bought them. So that's what that is. And I'm sorry, because like I've, I've adjusted like the microphone settings, but I don't think, I, I, I just like, it is not like, everything like I've done or like what I've attempted to do it just doesn't work so the only thing I can think of is sound squares I need some sound squares for like just to catch the sound of the goddamn fan of my computer taking off because this pre-build is kind of ass and I've been a little neglecting it and I'm just kind of riding it out until it crashes That jar's asking to be swiped, that one at the food stand earlier. Is there nothing? Am I just wandering aimlessly? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, wandrously, I'm wandering aimlessly, talking to myself. It's finally hit me, the, you, the, the alone brain of, of a commentary YouTube channel. The city's just so alive. I love it. Even though it's just like... Even though it's just pixel art, it's just... it's wild. I probably would like said this in a past video, and I like dropped it. Like, I know for a fact I probably have. Because I definitely had this thought before. But overall, it's just pretty wild. Because... I don't know, even though it's just like pixels, you have duplicates of... Yeah, see right there, duplicate of people. Uh, it, it's honestly just something better than like kind of like what you expect especially just from a delivery game. Is it all way on the roof? What the fuck? How? I 
I do not know. Am I on the roof now? Oh, I am. Okay. See, we can just like get up to high places like this. And the fact that we can just like, kind of like explore and do whatever. It's kind of wild. Is there something over here? No. Not at all. Okay. So, moving through. Where is... Here we go. Dealer. Goddamn hiccups. Oh. Still can't go in there. Oh, Avalon Hands is where we need to go to pick up whoever. Oh well. Oh shit. Buses. That's pretty smooth, even though I've had worse. in a little bit but it's kind of worth it because there's still stuff over here as well Shima Raymond and Seafood. My name is Eddie. What can I do for you?
My favorite. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks. Have a nice day. I don't think I can unlock the achievement I need. But maybe next playthrough. And before you ask, it's don't drink the water. Just buying five bottles of water, but I think it doesn't work because I am beyond a certain point in said storyline. See what I mean? The city's just alive. Through just like the narration of story that they put you through, and then they just have the oh, just like the monotonous like side shit. Like uh, you heard the bow to the death arena earlier. Uh, you, we always hear like the jazz one whenever we're playing. So it has like a lot of subtle storytelling and like kind of how the like city is running and how it's going. Just like especially it, like it develops like even more when we interact with the people around, which is kind of wild because it fleshes out a story and replaces like so much wilder than I ever thought possible. And it's all through small shit, too. There's the person we need to pick up, but I'm not done picking up shit. <laughs> so, for now, we're gonna act like we don't know her. We don't, we're not, we don't work for the Cloud Punk. <laughs> we currently do not do work for the cloud punk if anyone asks what do I have in my inventory I need oh mm -hmm. I need to go back I do have, I have an uh, achievement progression, I have, I have the active key, wincon, for the said achievement. Looming over it, this used battery. Is 
I miss my chance. Is he still there? I'm pretty. There he is. Yeah, he's still there. Just right across down the street. Let's get the dot. Let's go. Maybe you can try this dating agency, Douglas. Please, I am not so desperate. I am currently rated highly desirable in my range. <laughs> Are there many other available androids in your range? May I have the flyer, please? Perhaps I will try the dating agency. Good luck, Douglas. Thank you, Rania. I can afford you a reward. You can have my optimal dating ritual instigation line or some credits. Hmm, the line is tempting. I think I'll take the limbs. <laughs> Let's go. Hundred then easy money and achievement too. That's really inconvenient parking. All right, but we back here. And I went the wrong way. There's two stuff on the roof. There's three shits on the roof. Where? Across the way. That's so cool. The futuristic world that we never got. 
through cyberpunk. Burger. That's a microphone art too. Let go. Nice little building. Bro, can I go up here? Sag. Oh, that's that's cool though. So that's just uh, that that just has me geeked. That that little style. Literally has someone living above, right there, little little shop. That's 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 awesome. And it's just like a little detached. It's just an attached bus. The bus stop. God damn. That. Sometimes I just look at this place and it's just fucking wild. Like, bruh. I did see, did see there's another one I didn't even like bother noticing right here, but god damn, I some some shit just has me a while in this game, and I I did see a discussion on like the Steam forums for VR. If they get VR, bro, I'd be I'd be wild and I'd be in this bitch. VR for a pixel game like this, I I'd be down. I'd I'd be in there, cause they already have like uh, what's it like VR dungeon crawler or something, but it's like it's really pixelated. Uh, damage registrations weird. Uh, it kind of like doesn't register like if you hit anything in the head, but it's just like just like basic weapons that you hold do damage that type of shit but like it's still like what they could do it's just like bro I, I, I'm, I'm just rambling but yeah I'm not even probably making any coherent points that I just like but by the simple fact that I just I just want VR shit for this game if possible they did have also a big announcement for coming up so if that announcement's VR, then poggers. Um, hi. My name is Rania. I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. Oh, yes. I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I'm sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm True. sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Middle skin, scales or rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Does the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. <laughs> Dolly's new album, Dolly in the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes. Or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love... Dolly. You are Dolly. 
I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly, the first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you? Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken by the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. called on my mother and the number was blocked the whole time a billboard with my face looked down on me mocking me I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly who is the new Dolly they said it was going to be an automata it would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday they said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge They've been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Novalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. All right. If you say so, I got you. We'll get you out of here. Do you miss home? Yes. Will I like it outside, Navalis? I don't know. Will they... accept me? They take in anyone who is willing to work, but they will be suspicious and it won't be easy. I can call some old friends back home and ask them to help you out. No, I have to do this myself. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe you will come back someday? Maybe you will release the fifth album? No, Camus. I didn't like the music I made. That wasn't really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll never stop singing for anyone who wants to listen. I won't let them win. That's what Rania doesn't understand. They don't win until your music stops. You know, that was actually pretty good. I like that interaction. Hi there. Are you alone? Mom lets me hang out here. I like to watch the traffic go by. I'm Mala. She lets you out here by yourself? Yeah, I like to see the different hovas. 
and mom says the air is nice and clean by the roads because the vapor from the engines helps. Back home, it's smelly because of the factories. You live near the factories? I guess this is the best place for you to play then. Mom says it's safe as long as I don't talk to the police people. But strangers are okay. I guess that makes sense. So you like the Havas? Yeah, I want to race one day. The desert races in the wastelands? No, I like the street races. I've met a racer tonight. Really? Who was he? He calls himself Never Slow Joe. Wow, Never Slow Joe? He is good. I have something for you then. You want this card? Oh, cool. I didn't have this one yet. Thanks. He is not like the best, but pretty good. Who's the best, then? Scuttle Runner, maybe the Bandit Queen? Oh, I know, Jane Turbine! Are those their real names? No, silly. You need a special name when you become a racer. Well, it was nice to meet you. I've got to run. See you, Mala. Look at that. Well, we're here. Let's go search. Hey kid, you still surviving out there? Just about, Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more hava crashes in the last hour and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? You doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right. Uh, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? Well, there's a family member of Gills that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, you gotta go. Ah, remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, and then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. Alright. You know what? We're here. Fuck them. They'll be waiting. You got shit to find. I got a living to make. And if all this ain't easy, out in these strings, this ain't Jeezy. Yeah. Bars. One last thing. And then we'll go listen to the boy who yeeted himself. Uh, his parents, I should say. I should add on to that. Because <laughs> uh, the boy who yeeted himself fucking died. Oh, I missed the thing. Fuck. Then you want? Fuck it. I'm chilling. I find we're already here. 
This is the timeline now. I'm gonna get gas now while I can. So I'm not worrying about it. These little like cozy apartments. I've been here. I cleaned this place out already. Bill. So you're the last person who saw my brother alive. <laughs> I guess so. Who are you? I'm his brother, Bill. <laughs> mom didn't have much imagination when it comes to names. Your mom's still around? I'm sure she wouldn't want you here. She already lost a son. No, Mom supported Gil in his choice. She, uh, she understood. So do I. I've heard stories about the sky since I was smaller than a sump rat. <laughs> Beyond the clouds! <laughs> I can't leave Gil there alone. But he's not in the clouds. He's dead. Where's your imagination? Look, I can't really take another desperate dreamer throwing their life away. Can you just tell me what you want? <coughs> I guess. I just want to know, was he at peace before he went? Was he afraid? No, he had no idea what he was heading into. Then I won't be afraid either. You want to go through with it as well? It's what he would have wanted. After Gil went, was your mom, did she seem upset? No, not at all. She, she was proud. She'd never been proud of either of us before. I dropped out of math academy, and Gil couldn't pass his corpsec entrance exams. We were a couple of failures till Gil went into the clouds. <laughs> Me and Mom even got some money from the insurance. <laughs> we bought a new Hova. Oh, come on. What? Put two and two together, Bill. I, I don't understand. Your mom filled your head with dreams of going into the sky. Then, put an insurance policy on both of you. If you're naive enough to go through with this, maybe she deserves the money more than you do. Hey, I'm not naive! <laughs> then prove it. Your brother is dead. Your mom doesn't care about you. Maybe no one does right now, but that doesn't mean no one ever will. Get out of here. Make something of your life and stop dreaming about the sky. I've seen it. It only makes you feel worse, because no matter how vast and beautiful the sunrise looks, you're still stuck down here with everyone else. Anyone who tells you that you can escape this place by running away is just selling you another lie. You really believe that? Look around you. You think that if there was an easy escape from this place, anyone would choose to stay here? I... I guess you might have a point. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll go home. <laughs> or maybe a bar. All right. Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. <laughs> what tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it. Put me on the speaker. 
You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. Pashta. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. Look, things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's, it's going to be hard on you for a while till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm gonna bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep, you're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun after I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. What about the balls of water? Fourteen FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Why? An under net pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. <laughs> not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go! Understood. Uh... I... Hmm... E... Go. We gotta go. But
God damn, boy. Damn it, 14 FC. We didn't make it? No, it's not your fault. We skimped on the license. You know, we can't process any bonuses now. God damn. We have a call. It is from William. Who? The cleaning android, remember? Right. Should I put him through? No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? <sighs> well, there was no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? <laughs> no. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the sound. Just go. Just come here. Flip the switch. Do it. Flip, turn the nuke on. Activate it. Kill everyone, yes. Here's what I can offer you today. So. Let's go. Thanks. Never mind. I look forward to seeing you again. Well, I got the achievement I didn't think I needed to, but that water was pricey. All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. It is made with. I'm exaggerating, Camus. I have three grand. Full tank of gas, and I will get paid even more. We shall go. Best part, it's a Sunday, so do you know what? Maybe long episode, because you know I'm kind of enjoying Cloudpunk a lot right now. We are only about an hour in. So we will, we will continue. <coughs> These intersectors are just fucking wildin'. Fuck, <laughs> I'm wildin'. I'm hitting a bunch of shit. The you know where is repaired. Where's the repair station? <laughs> Where's the repair station, Governor Haida? <laughs> I done fucked myself up a lot. Oh, thank you. My fucking... <laughs> 
my hoods off. Mechanic. Neon Tracer. I don't need that. I got the this little violet one that we got. Oh, do you want, uh, was it V? Oh, that, that, I like this. Yo, the POV, POV angle. I finally figured out the button or I finally pushed it. I just bit the bullet and did it. I like that a lot. Granted, I just probably peaked the mic a lot. I'm sorry for that. And I'll probably post edit it, uh, <laughs> bring it down. But that shit got me geeked. That, Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this action <laughs> You have changed. From? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... But you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine. Keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AI. <laughs> a string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please, do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch, which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg. But I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. That sucks. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building. Far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too. And sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. <laughs> uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. Hello? Are 
Are you there, Cloudpunk woman? The lockdown is active. Glad I could help. What's gonna happen to the people in quarantine? Oh, I will be sure to get them help. I am not sure that is true. <laughs> it is true, little dog. And I have transferred payment. So our transaction is complete. Goodbye. Did we do the right thing? We did something. <laughs> Two grand? That was worth it. We probably won't have got the two grand. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Light Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. <laughs> Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, They'll need to print another. Is this well paid at least? <laughs> For Cloud Park, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. Alright. Here, I need to <laughs> get out. I'm getting out of that. For as much as I enjoy the casual. We'll do it later. We need <laughs> we need speed. For this heart. Okay, making our way. Fucking where? Parking spot? Oh shit. Okay, let me just do myself a favor, park close as I can. <laughs> Going. 
Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> now I'll go. Now I'll go. <laughs> now I'll go. Now I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Payment has already come through. You've made someone very happy. Be still, my beating heart. If I could, I'd roll my eyes. Oh. I gotta go. I don't know if I'm ready to snow in the bag. Don't fall like confetti. It's me and my brother. So set it in it. Yeah. Hop in the car. It's a Honda, a Chevy. Charge me an arm and a leg or whatever. As long as you give me like Mario. Every song you find 